welcome to new tutorial for dummy simulator program for node ncu esp8266 node mcu is considered as the best device for home automation garden automation and even for industrial automation node mcu board is a plug and play device which means that you can plug it via data cable and program it accordingly it can be integrated with any web page or web server locally as well as globally basically it has two main parts the one is the main board of NC node mcu and the other is the sub board or daughter board called as esp8266 we can program this node via arduino id and our simulator you can see that there are four major portions the first one is the Arduino IDE portion in which you can add your coding and node MCU will perform according to your code. The second portion as you can see is based upon node MCU and you can see the status of IO pins on this board. The third portion consists of the devices and we introduce one pen, one motor and one tube light. One can make on and off these devices from the web page controls. The fourth part consists of the web page through which we can control any of the aforementioned devices. Now coming back to the programming portion, let's understand the programming first. The first line in the programming file that is hash include ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h via this library we can use any function offered by the library. In the second line, you can see that it is mentioned cos character SSID. It simply means that we have declared a variable named as SSID and which cannot be changed because it's a constant character during the whole run of program. The third line is also creating one variable named as password and we can see that there are two text boxes in front of each line and you should have to put the correct SSID and password in order to authenticate your server. In the fourth line, the variable LED pin is declared as integer data type. In front of it, you can see a text box where you can put numbers from 1 to 8 in order to get access of the digital pin of the node NCU. Wi-Fi server, which is also known as server 80, is the default port and usually it is unchangeable even if you can change your operating system. Now let's come to the function wild setup. This function wild setup will be executed once only. It means that all the instructions within the body of this function executes of one just one time. And in the seventh line, which is serial.begin 1152.00, it means that the standard board read for node MCU in order to communicate with the PC. And in the eighth line, it is mentioned and delay 10. This line means that the control will pass for 10 milliseconds here. And in the ninth line, it, we can see a command mentioned as pin mode LED pin and here if you write the input the digital pin that is the LED pin will be declared as the input pin and if we declared it as the output pin the written digital LED pin low and the LED pin 1 and the LED pin 2 will act same as the LED pin. It means that we can set the LED pin as digital pen with having ground on it or simply we can see we can say it is off so guys this is all about today's tutorial and do not forget to comment like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon thanks for watching our channel Nelson Darwin Park Tech